welcome back in today's video i am back with a eShop web app which is made using the google sheet database and google app script in this web app we have added many kind of functionalities and features let me explain step by step first of first one if the feature is that we have added the minimum and maximum quantity it is selected for a buyer which he can buy for example right now you can see here the five i want that this product minimum sale 10 pieces and maximum 15 pieces i will set the limit minimum 10 and maximum 15 pieces and now i am going to my web app and when i click on the and when I click on refresh button, I will refresh my web app. So now you can see here the 10 is automatically comes here. When I click on the decrement in this button, it will not let be down because a minimum quantity will be 10. And when I click on the increment button, so you can see here I cannot able to add more than 15 quantities in my product web app okay in my this product i can only buy the items the minimum 10 and something between 10 and 15 i, I also can buy exactly 15 exactly 10 but not less than 10 and not more than 10 i can buy between 10 to 15 okay so here's the live view button in this in this web app version we also have added the live view button for example you are a youtuber and you are a vlogger and if you have a particular uh, this product review on your youtube channel or something like tiktok and other platforms so you can add that particular video url here and when i when a person click on the live view it will redirect it to your particular url to view your information which you give in your url and here the functionality we add for example this uh, product have a video url and something like information which is given in your url and but in some products if they don't have the url in our database it will don't show the live view button it will skip that step it will only show the simple product and if some product have live view url it will edit the live view button for example uh, you will see when i decrement to 14 now the price is also changes on the main time example 14 the price is changed successfully on 13 the price is changed successfully on 12 the price is changes successfully on 11 the price is changed successfully and when i click on this heart icon this product will be added in my wish list so now i can directly go uh, send this product from this wish list to my add to cart button so when i go to add to cart i can also receive the order confirmation email like this kind of thing in my email okay so i can also uh, you can see the minimum quantity is 10 minimum quantity i can select is 10 and when i click on more than 15 so you can see it you can see here the maximum quantity i can select is 15 so okay i will take it the 15 and when i enter my name for example ramis and my enter my email where i want to receive the confirmation emails or gmail.com and here's i enter my contact and here's my enter is my address is united states okay. and when i click on this confirm button it will also show me do you want to confirm this order yes i want to confirm this order your order is being processed order successful so now in your email you will you also received an email that you knew order received for this particular details and this particular item okay so the person who buy uh, the person who purchased a product also receive a email of that particular product confirmation like this your order confirmation okay so now in our web app the category one is we can also we can also search the categories for example i search the electronics i can search i search, uh, search the clothing so i can search the clothing and when i click on the menswear 
the women's wear and click on the all categories i can see all the categories example uh, this uh, here uh, we will add 10 quantities and here i will add 20 and uh, uh, from here i will 10 uh, 10 quantities and here i will add um, minimum 20 and maximum minimum 15 and maximum 25 okay and maximum 25 now i am going to refresh my web app so now you can see here the price me uh, the minimum quantity will be selected here the 15 and the 10 so uh, when i click on plus one i can click on the ad it will says order exceeds available stock what why because we have only 10 stocks available in our warehouse so it will not allow me to add 11 i can only order 10 okay i select it to 10 and click on the add now it will successfully add it in my database okay and also you can see here the 15 i click easily add so when i am going to my card and i enter more you can see here order exceeds available amount so this order cannot be added you can see here we selected the minimum 15 but the maximum 25 but in our warehouse we have only 20 stocks available not more than 20 so it will stop me on 20 so i enter my name and informations uh, like my email gmail.com and here's my information and click on the confirm and yes confirm so now you can see here the order is successfully submitted and i will receive a email new order received because this time i enter the same email for the customer so you can see here this customer purchased this quantity this product and this unit frame and subtotal is this and the customer will receive your order your order confirmation order confirmation emails okay so but, uh, remain all features like the old one and i also explained so you can see here now i am unable to see the zero quantity products because both are zero so it will be removed automatically from our front end so user cannot able to see that particular products as much as more so hope you like this tutorial you like this uh, web app you like this e-commerce project so meet you in our next video with a great tutorials so hope you like it if you want to join our membership and access all of our youtube tutorials, link is in the description you can easily join so take care a lot